We're going to shift gears here and I'm going to talk about a different data set. Uh, what we're trying to show you here is some of the advanced capabilities that are available with the RapidMiner platform. RapidMiner is enriched by several extensions that are provided by its own engineering team coming out of other partner projects as well as extensions that come from third party companies. Uh, for example, the text processing extension in RapidMiner is very popular for various use cases like sentiment analysis, clustering of documents, classification of documents. Everything is powered by the same drag and drop concept. The workflow here in the gray is what uh, is our text mining extension based workflow. Uh, similar to what we have been doing, we are getting the data, providing the role for which column is our text column. And then the rapid minor process document operators allows you to create word vectors from your data set. Inside of this operator, we do standard things like tokenization, transforming of cases, filtering stop words. And based on your needs, you could add other things like stemming or filtering token based on some dictionary words, English words, or even extract entities and many others. One other operator that we are going to use here is the WordNet dictionary operator for extracting sentiments for English words. As you'll notice, a simple drag and drop workflow I can build in a few minutes can then be used for extracting sentiments. And then I'm selecting the necessary outputs and passing it along. Along with the text mining extension that we provide, uh, RapidMiner has also integrations coming from two more companies, uh, one of them in Alien, which provides additional text mining capabilities like sentiment analysis, language detection, extraction of phrases, and then several other advanced operators based on natural language processing technique. A similar extension is available from uh, the Rosette text mining toolkit. So just to show you those three techniques in action, I'm going to hit the play button here and show you the results. The results look something like this. Here I have one of them providing just a positive or negative sentiment value. Uh, one of the extensions goes further and talks about subjectivity, polarity and so on. And then with the rapid minor extension, you get a score. I have obviously ignored a lot of columns here. So as you notice, it's easy to build sentiment analysis, but with the rapid minor extension, it provides you basically a lot more in terms of what you can do. Here we're looking at the tokenized tweets. Using this mathematical representation now, I'm able to build additional workflows like clustering of the documents, where each row is my document, or maybe when doing some sort of classification based on some training data set. The same text mining extension allows you to work with various file formats like PDF, HTML. It can be combined with the power of the web mining extension we talked about earlier to do a lot of unstructured data mining solutions. Another example of some of the advanced techniques enabled by Rapid Miner is this extension that comes from a partner of ours. Uh, they provide image mining extension that works in Rapid Miner and works on the same principle of easy drag and drop workflow building. What you're looking at right now is uh, some sort of uh, web-based solution they're put together that is powered by RapidMiner. I can pass it URLs. For example, I'm going to pass it URL for this particular image here. And we'll notice that how it classifies that as an airliner with 87% confidence probability. Let's try that with another URL here and see what the results look like. As you notice here, the front end of this application is obviously not rapid minor, but behind the engine is a rapid minor extension working with the rapid minor server and providing results to a powerful website.